What is up, y'all? Yeah, it's been a long time since y'all seen me, since I've seen you, but let's cut to the chase. So this off season, I was supposed to have just taken off completely. That um, no racing at all. And now that the Northeast season has officially ended, I have officially kept my word. So let's get that cleared. Let's get that out the way. So first, just because it's been the off season does not mean that I have not been doing anything in regards to my car. So this off season, I did a whole bunch of work. So as you can see now, I have aero front and rear. I changed that that rear wing that I had into a bigger rear wing, which is the width of the car. It's various engineering. It's that UCW one. I have a three and a half inch front splitter with an air dam. So upgraded that. Um, I changed my differential from a 4.1 to a 4.3, so the ratios are a lot shorter. I changed the transmission. I put an IRP short shifter in, changed my tie rods, my ball joints, changed uh, the rear toe arms to SPL. So a lot of work has been done on this car, just, you know, in that type of motion. Anyways... Next year, I'm, I plan on racing. Let's see how it goes down with the budget and financially. And, um, you know, it's hard to take weight off of the car, so I took weight off of myself. So I was at 197, now 175, 174. So that's a good shavings right there in the front end. <laughs> and um, I think this is my last year doing TT. I'm going to move more into Super Touring or Honda Challenge. Which one? I haven't found out yet. But... Uh, the Honda right now is, it's pretty much running, driving, operating. You know, I still have my, my PCI wing right here. So, uh, I kind of just daily drive the Honda here and there. One for gas mileage, cause I travel 150 miles to work every day, round trip. So, you know, a wing isn't going to do any justice when it comes down to the gas mileage. But, um, let me, let me see if I can show you guys how this Honda has been going so far. Let me open up this garage door. Let me get my keys. That might be nice, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, technically you can turn on the Honda with no keys, but this is my personal car. So for me to turn it on with no keys, it's kind of like, I ain't trying to steal my own car. Oh, here's a quick funny story. So throughout the course of this, my son decided to say, yo, F you, F your foot. Boom. Yeah, broke my toe. Fractured it, so it's not that good. Okay, so here we go. Here's the Honda. Uh, still looks basic. It's just gutted out. Interior. Um, let me open up the hood. I might drive this car next year, though, as opposed to the BRZ, so we'll see. Um, she's nice idle. Check engine lights, no none of that funny stuff. And going to the front of the car, I did my ghetto rental can job. I painted the valve cover myself. And just the B16 motor. It's pretty much where I'm at right now. It's like completely stock except for the exhaust system. But, you know, it's it's pretty decent. It doesn't doesn't leave me stranded <laughs> so got that with the mugen lip or whatever lip that is i don't know what it is anymore <laughs> oh, yeah, it's pretty much just the the regular p30 ecu and my integra cluster retrofitted to the eg irp shifter and yes ideally this car to work is it fun no but I also changed um, all the brakes, front brakes, I changed the rear ones. I did both the hub bearings. Uh, after the rear brakes, I did the, uh, what did I do? I know I did a lot of stuff, but I think I did tie rods. Oh, I did lower ball joint. And then just like kind of just capitalized on it with my touches because I haven't had this car serviced in a long time. so. You know, I'm, everything works properly on the car. I just need to get a cage. Everybody's telling me to get a cage, but safety equipment for that, safety equipment for this, 
it's gonna eagle out a lot of money and I ain't got no GoFundMe page and no OnlyFans, so I ain't selling no toe pictures at this point with my broken foot. So, you know, with this one, see the new rear wing, all this other stuff. It's, I feel like this car is going to be good next year if I do TT, especially if I run the Who's Your R7s, which I plan on doing. But let's see. I may try to get my competition license next year, see if I can just borrow a car or something, just that way I can have the license out the way for the weekend. And then um, we'll see. I just got to do brake rotors on the BRZ and rear pads. Obviously flush all the fluids and things like that. But uh, ever since then, no problems. No check engine lights. It's got 57,000 miles on it. You know, still corner balance by my boy. You know, just surviving and maintaining. So this is just a quick update. Long story short kind of deal. And... Um, yeah, hopefully I see you all in uh, 2024. Hopefully I'm in the track. Hopefully I'm winning. If I'm not, then I don't know. I, I may I may try to figure something out with the Honda at that point. But let's see if this is the car to get me through. If not, switch it up to the Honda. So at least they both run drive. I just pretty much need to refresh the bearings on the Honda because they're all old. They're all old um, sephiricals. They're rusted, so I'm going to just try to see if I can um, just order the new bearings and just change them all out. Same with the inner and outer tie rods for that car. And I don't know if the dampers are any good. Those are the Eibach Pro R2s. I called Eibach. They don't service them anymore, so whatever. I'll run it till it breaks and repeat the process. So hopefully i see you all next year. And... You ain't going to hear from me until, the, I think, April or May, whenever the season starts. Peace.